something good for yourself instead of the beggar. Do something progressive for yourself. At a time when the global economy is under stress and unemployment seems to be on a rise, entrepreneurship may well be the way to go for many Ghanaian youth. Look at the children, they are in school. 26 year old Chris Abbas Ibaba is a test case that may well offer some guide and motivation. Abbas is a junior high school graduate and owns this barber shop called Hair Force One at Abilinkbe, the suburb of Accra. I started from Apprentice by now. I'm having my own business. We started from four months ago, but everything is all right. Getting my own workers now. I have my customers coming. I can have like 20, 25 customers a day which is okay for me. I have pedicure, I have tattoo and all that. You know, business are going on now. I think it's good. Can't you do something with the tailor? Abbas employs modern marketing skills and a lot of what technology has to offer to boost his business. The customer will have this card as a membership card and a payment system also. You use this card to pay for your haircut. When you have a haircut, you bring it here back, I'll swap it on the card and I'll deduct my amount from the card and you take the card. From there you have a message for your phone or your cell that you haircut have been deducted from your card. And also, I have a book here to take a customer details, your email address, your name and your telephone number which can reach you every day. Customer service here is superb. Clients waiting for their turn are treated to a bottle of cold soft drink and can have their shoes polished or play snooker. It's a half PS3, which is FIFA 13. You can play game once you're waiting for a haircut and all that. Then you can make your iPad, your phone, you can go to Twitter, Facebook, social media and all that on your phone, which is the free for Wi-Fi. I can connect to you for free. And also you have um, a of frame also inside, which you can have your signature on it, which will recognize you that you're a member of HF1. You do all this for free. 11 years of apprenticeship has helped him develop this model, established just a few months ago. I love Hair Force One because I get the best haircuts I can get in Ghana. From the first time he cut my hair, I knew I would never change my barber again, as long as I could. He's not just concerned with hair, he's concerned with grooming. And I, I um, when I come here, it's a one-stop shop. I love the environment, I love the service, I love his attitude towards work. By the next five years, Step for Sun will be great in Ghana. This is number one. And I'm trying to the next level to be a next other Jolu or next area. So next five years, trust me, I'll have shop around Kumase. It will be big. Get up and do something for yourself. But the story started from a different condition. Abbas used to be a coconut seller on the streets of Mamobi, a suburb of Accra. The little savings he made out of the coconut business served as a startup capital for the barber shop. The unassuming young man has undergone many challenges surviving on the streets. His story certainly is shared by many Ghanaian youth. But are there systems in place to offer support to such persons to grow their business and create job opportunities for the unemployed youth? I'm highly impressed for such a young man to walk out of the streets and come out with such a bold initiative because people even with higher qualifications are very even afraid to venture into their own businesses. We have some small loans that we um, give to our clients to be able to expand their businesses. And non-financial, we give them training in small business management, entrepreneurship, and also we don't stop there, we follow up in the form of advisory and counseling. 
even though Ghana government provides some funding opportunities such as microfinance and loan center called Maslow and the venture capital setups. Accessing these funds appear challenging for young entrepreneurs. What we advise our clients or whoever comes to us for information is on your own. If you have been able to save or from a friend or family relation or whatever, start on your own a little before you, you go in for additional working capital or seek help from other sources. I started from nowhere and see where God has put me now. Where I, where I even have to sleep it wasn't easy for me. So our advice go for the youth to I mean, force themselves and have their own handwork and try and do something because I think the government cannot do all for us. For now, Abbas has led the way, showing the success in life indeed comes with determination, perseverance, creativity and taking every opportunity as it comes. Rose to Dumbling, it's for yourself. <laughs> it is what I can't understand.